discussion here will be including the difference between the expanded hemodialysis or what's called HDX versus HDF. And the outcome of both therapy in patients with chronic kidney disease on regular hemodialysis. If you can look here, the difference between HDF and the HDX, still we need a randomized controlled trial. What is the scenario? The scenario here is we have hemodiafiltration therapy, and now upcoming the expanded hemodialysis therapy, and still in the basket, more names may come. إحنا محتاجين لي إن إحنا يكون عندنا وسيلة علاج أخرى غير ال HDF وتساوي نفس الغرض. Simply, لأن ال HDF is more expensive and complicated. Regular hemodialysis. It's cheaper, a little bit, but it still cannot be optimized as in HDF. وبالتالي محتاجين حاجة ما بين الاثنين ما بين ال HDF وال regular hemodialysis بحيث ان احنا can approach ال uremic toxin removal equivalent لل hemodial filtration. وبالتالي ال HDF is more complex and cost only 20% of worldwide can do. لما نيجي نبص على الهيمودياليسيس دوز برسكريبشن هنلاقي فيه حاجات كتير جدا مسؤول زي الفلكس تايم الفريكوانسي الديوريشن الترا فلتريشن ريت اند كي تي اوفر وات كل ده ليه علاقة ببعضه ما نقدرش نفصل حاجة عنهم يعني لو استخدمنا هاي فلاكس من برين still we are in need of prolonged time more frequency controlled ultra filtration rate and assessment with a new marker or a marker of KT over V لازم نتذكر دائما ان الهيمودياليسيس all are in one basket No one size fit for all patients. ممكن مريض عن مريض بيختلف في الثيرابي. We cannot apply all of them for the same patients. We can differentiate in dose of dialysis according to patient requirement. The multidimensional measure of dialysis adequacy moving beyond small solid kinetics. خلاص الكلام ما بقاش فيه أي لازم أن أنا أتكلم على اليوريا ريموفر لأن اليوريميك توكسينز إن ذا ميدل موليكيول رينج إز إكسباندينج عندنا يوريميك توكسين 40,000 و 50,000 اليوريا جاست 60 دالتون سو إتس بيوند ذات وي كان موف فروم سمول موليكيول أتشيفمنت أوف أداليسيس أديكوسي تو ميدل موليكيولز أند ماتش بيجر موليكيولز What is important here is we have to look about the treatment duration, treatment frequency, incremental dialysis in some patients. We have to preserve residual kidney function. We can consider as well in some circumstances home dialysis, looking for maximized quality of life and maximized survival. Note that ultrafiltration rate and extracellular fluid volume management should be applied as well as removal of uremic toxins. The optimal dialysis dose prescription is the goal of therapy. Let me be handy, comfortable hemodialysis, better control of blood pressure, anemia, mineral bone disease, Better control of uremic symptoms, removal of much of uremic toxins, and volume state, and subsequently better survival 
and health related quality of life. محتاجين عشان نحقق الجول ده high permeable dialysis membrane high flux definitely prolonged time more frequent hemodialysis KT over V is still the official marker of adequacy هنيجي نلاقي ان هو في كل الجايد لاينز still looking for urea removal While 2.2 for uh, patients doing hemodialysis twice weekly and at least 1.3 KT over V per session for patients who are doing thrice weekly dialysis. Let me look at the standard KT over V in the paragraph. We need to carno B. السيرفيس اريا نورماليزد ستاندرد كي تي اوفر في هنلاقي ان الومن جت ليس دياليسيس هيمودياليسيس دوزز سبسيكونتلي كي تي اوفر في نو ديفرنس وين اسيسينج ذا فوليوم اوف ديستريبيوشن اوف يور اير بات اف وي ديفايد ذا كي تي اوفر سيرفيس اريا وي فاوند ذات ذا فيميلز جت ليس hemodialysis doses for the dialyzer permeability meaning of a cut off point which is equivalent to a saving coefficient of 0.1 we have low flux medium flux high flux super flux medium cut off high cut off as well plasma filter The cutoff difference between all of them, low flux can remove up to 5,000 Dalton only. Medium flux is less than high flux, but is much better than in low flux. Super flux and the medium cutoff removing much more molecular weight. High cutoff approaching the albumin and the plasma can remove all plasma proteins. That diagram is what the hemodialysis while using the conventional hemodialysis with high flux. We can remove effectively the small solids, small molecular weight toxins. We can remove as well the middle molecules, but still the protein pound toxins are retained because it's a very big molecule which could not be removed easily by all the hemodialysis therapy up till now. Hemodialysis is a filtration therapy, resembling the glomerulus, and we can remove by the clearance, remove by filtration, and 17% by adsorption into the membrane. The difference between HDX, or expanded hemodialysis, and the hemodial filtration إن الـ HDX بيحتاج membrane permeability عالية وبالتالي remove molecules with molecular weight كبير while HDF is simply by solid dragging using high permeable conventional high flux membranes محتاجين ultra pure water طبعا high flux membrane and high volume convection ميزة الـ HDF and الـ HDX إن هو يقدر يشيل الـ inflammatory markers و mediators in patients with sepsis. الـ HDF enhance the removal by dragging forces meaning that through the transmembrane pressure can remove bigger molecules. While in HDX, with a higher membrane permeability, up to 45,000 Dalton, can remove such molecules with only pi permeability.
it's still early to document that in researches, but it's going. We need more randomized controlled trials to compare between both therapies. So the HGDX is an expanded range of hemodialysis depend on removal of bigger molecules as well in HDF, but here in HDF depend on ultrafiltration rates and transmembrane pressure, while HDX depend on only the membrane permeability, removal of metal molecules. Field expanded hemodialysis الالترافلتريشن ريت بيبقى هاي ده معناه ان في obligatory water loss وبالتالي for control of blood volume بيحصل what's called back filtration which is movement of the dilazate to the patient through the dialyzer to compensate for the obligatory water loss. Pack filtration volume is risky for pyrogen transfer, so we have to define the water treatment. In HDF, the tools depend on blood volume processed and the ultrafiltration and substitution volume. More blood volume and the more substitution you will have a more effective hemodial filtration. It had been recommended that the dose of hemodial filtration should be around 23 liters per session. All causes of mortality and free survival improvement with higher doses of KT over V. Improvement in all cause mortality in HDF therapy and it's dependent in doses. So increasing the dose improves the survival. We we'll look to that Below 21 liters, there is nothing improvement in survival except if we can move toward 23 liters. Above that, no significant changes in survival. That's called high efficient online hemodial filtration. Hemodial filtration depends on blood flow extensive ultrafiltration, making a high blood viscosity, subsequent increase in transmembrane pressure, and depend on dialyzer characteristics. In hemodialysis machine, there is a feedback control, meaning that with the ultrafiltration, through the all lengths of the dialyzer, there is hemoconcentration and protein concentration makes the membrane to be closed, membrane to be found by proteins. In some hemodialysis machines, there is back filtration on demand. When the transmembrane pressure increases, the machine starts to push dialysate from outside to the blood side so cleaning up the membrane and returning back to its efficacy. That's called back filtration on demand. On the other hand, hemodial filtration, in HDX is more simple technique needs regular hemodialysis machine. Hemodialysis membrane progression over decades, and let in the uh, uh, since the 1980, low flux, some high flux in 90s, high flux membrane and some albumin leak. Nowadays, there is high performance membrane 
and the medium cut of membrane allowing for removal of some albumin. The pore diameter between low flux and high flux and the difference between high flux and high cut off ما بين الاثنين هو الميديم كات اوف ميمبرينز هنيجي نلاقي ان الهيمو دياليسيز يوزنج ذا ميديم كات اوف يقدر يشيل مور يوريميك توكسين ان مولكيول ذان ان ريجولار هاي فلوكس ميمبرين في زيادة في البور دياميترز وده مصاحبه أكيد some more albumin loss so the medium cut off membrane closer to the natural kidney removal function removal of more toxins up to 45,000 dalton removal depend on the sieving coefficient of the dialysis membrane. Bigger pore, remove middle molecules. As well alcohol. So the expanded hemodialysis, meaning that expanded than conventional high flux removal, Medium cut off membrane show permeability close to that of the natural kidney. Calculation based on in hemodiafiltration and the medium cut off on the ultrafiltration and sieving coefficient of the solids. In HDF, نعتمد تماما على الالترفلتريشن ريت and the substitution volume. The risk is more albumin loss in medium cut-off mean 3 to 7 gram and in high cut-off above 7 gram per hemodialysis session. But we have much improvement in removing of molecules, big molecules like free light chain, kappa and lambda. Complement my globin, beta 2, microglobin, all are efficiently removed by HDX, medium cut off, high flux, and hemodiafiltration with superiority of HDF and HDX. Higher clearance and the higher albumin loss. We have to remember that. Improvement in beta 2 microglobin removal. Improvement in middle molecules, even the clearance of free hemoglobin is high. Potential benefit, greater clearance of kappa and lambda. Limited effect on protein bound toxins, down regulates the expression of both interleukin 6 and tumor necrosis factor. Removal of soluble mediators and transcription of pro inflammatory cytokines in peripheral leukocyte is markedly reduced. The album loss in conventional high flux is below 0.4 gram, while in HEDX or expanded hemodialysis approaching from 3 to 7 gram. Clinical outcome. Some trials, improvement in cytokines removal, but drop in serum albumin is respected. We have to look about that for the nutritional state of the patient. It's exactly to remove more uremic toxins as well as cytokines. Myoglobin and beta 2 microglobin differences between HDF and the medium cut of hemodialysis are nearly the same. 